what do you think about when you hear yourself say that and know that it's an Oscar winning film today? Well, uh, very proud on behalf of an incredible team. I mean, this was uh, an enormous collaboration that took many, many years uh, and um, just couldn't be more proud. You just couldn't expect this kind of result, um, but what a thrill. Yeah, no question. Um, so I want to know right away how the your whole night went <laughs> last night. Well, you know, uh, we we had a, a great contingency um, from the crew there, uh, Melanie Combs and Brian Hansen, uh, Frank Passingham and Georgie Haynes, uh, Rob DeSue, and of course, Mark Gustafson uh, and his wife, Jennifer, were there. And so everyone was uh, waiting anxiously for uh, what would be the big moment. And uh, surprisingly, it was the very first award. So, Will, um, the award was the very first thing up. We were caught a bit off guard, um, but what an incredible way to start the night. And, uh, yeah, look at this. We actually got one. Yeah. That's beautiful. Proud. Beautiful stuff. It's it's even more uh, of a stronger gold than I yeah uh, and a lot heavier too yeah yeah um so i i guess how how late did the night go that's oh it's fun you know because uh you know not only did we get to then stay for the rest of the ceremony but um the academy puts on this incredible event right after um the ceremony called the governor's ball um that's where everyone gets to you know mingle pressure release of course uh, we had our whole team there with Guillermo and Mark and um, all the Netflix folks um, together with all the other filmmakers nominees and guests um, a, a wild party that uh, uh, was then an opportunity to uh, again blow off some steam uh, uh, I think I, I took uh, uh, everyone that was on the team then to uh, uh, both the Netflix hosted party, which was a great celebration with a hardworking team there. And then to the Vanity Fair after party, which is uh, uh, quite an event as well. So uh, again, just uh, any opportunity will to blow off steam after a night like last night in a run uh, like we've had uh, is welcome. <laughs> yeah. How did it feel to be in that, in that circle with all those other films that, that were winners, you know, that got this great honor? Yeah, really humbling. I mean, it was an incredible group of nominees. Um, we got to know them over the course of um, many award ceremonies. Um, and, you know, from Marcel the Shell to Turning Red, uh, of course, Puss, uh, among others. It's just uh, they're great filmmakers, really good people. And, uh, you know, uh, a meaningful community. I think everyone's pushing in the right direction, and this happened to be our year. So, uh, uh, very honored and humbled uh, to be both alongside them and to, again, uh, step away with the big prize. Yeah, and for yourself, uh, you are here at work in Portland, but how do you like it when you get to spend time in Hollywood around kind of more, more, of, more of this industry? Oh, it's fun. You know, I, I, I think um, there's a lot of glitz and glamour in, in Hollywood, but um, I will say um, I'm always happy to come home to Portland. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a nice place to uh, visit and appreciate all the, the incredible filmmakers and artists uh, in LA, but then I get the incredible uh, filmmakers and artists in Portland, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I wanna talk about how this film came to be. I know it took a long time, but what what went into getting getting this released? Well, uh, it took a lot of years. This is something that we first met uh, Guillermo uh, on this project back in 2012, if you can believe it. Um, you know, for many many years, um, studios were reluctant to uh, finance what they considered to be uh, a darker retelling of this classic fairy tale. Um, and it wasn't until we met with Ted Sarandos at Netflix um, that he really, you know, uh, understood the vision. Um, he understood what both Guillermo and Mark Gustafson uh, were looking to do. This wasn't uh, a dark 
um, version of Pinocchio. This was just a very sophisticated uh, version of what we know as this classic tale. So, um, you know, once once we got moving with Netflix, it was about a three and a half year production, uh, which is extraordinarily long, but we got delayed um, by way of the uh, uh, COVID pandemic. Um, you know, a, a remarkable disruption in an already complicated production. <laughs> so um, uh, I think is testament to the fortitude, um, you know, the resilience um, and the creativity of a, a crew to really stick together and come out the other side with something um, beautiful. Yeah. What do you want um, people from Portland to know about Shadow Machine that, that they didn't know before? Uh, that they didn't know before? Well, um, you know, that's a good question. And, um, you know, Shadow Machine is lucky enough to work with just some of the best of the best. So um, uh, we feel like we're um, uh, uh, always there to add to the artistic community. We're excited to build, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the best artists in the world um, into the, some of the best projects in the world. So we're just getting started well yeah it seems like it uh tell me your immediate schedule i guess uh for the next week after after you're an oscar winner huh. i mean what do you do now well no rest for the weary you know we go right back uh we're in production now all the um credible folks at chatter machine all the artists we're working with are are deep into production at the moment um we never really stop production um, but, uh, lots of fun stuff on the horizon. So, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, as much as we can celebrate, um, you know, we also have a lot of work to do. So, um, you kind of balance the two, right. Um, you know, champagne and coffee. <laughs>